Okay, girls, are you ready to learn about string art? All right, I'm gonna kind of give you a close-up look here of this entry that was done in my uh, journaling Bible last night. And then we're gonna get right down to it and I'm gonna show you how fun and easy this is. I have a couple different techniques to show you. This will, One of them will even be a little bit new for the girls that were here yesterday. So it's gonna be new for everybody. So let me go ahead and show you this technique. I'm gonna go ahead and move my Bible, this one out of the way. And first off, we're gonna start with um, some paint. And as you can see, this is a messy process, but we'll eliminate the mess as best we can. And I'm gonna do something really bright and vibrant like that one, just because I wanna make sure that you can see it um, very, very well. And by the way, I'm just using uh, acrylic paints. I'm gonna use a little bit of copper in this one. I think that'll be pretty. Just plain old acrylic paints. Now, a lot of you have seen some of the videos that are kind of going viral on Facebook right now, and they are using um, liquid inks. Now, liquid inks are super, super intense, okay? And that doesn't mean that you can't use them. You could use them in like your mixed media um, projects, anything like that. I'm just putting these in little bowls. I'll just show you about how much, um, about how much paint that I'm using here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually spritz these. I'm gonna do this off camera here a little bit because I don't wanna get it on my Bible page. Can you see that? I'm just putting a little bit of water in these. I'm gonna just water them down a tad so they're not so super thick. And now, I'm just going to kinda of mix them up a little bit. The other thing I wanted to show you really fast is this, the type of string that I'm using. Um, it's just this, it's, I don't even really know, it was just in my stash, just this kind of cotton um, string here. If you wanted to use any type of string, you could. And in fact, you get different looks by depending on the thickness of your string or the texture of it. It could even be small like Baker's twine. So that's pretty cool. You can just get all kinds of different looks. But this is the, this is the type of string we're using today. So let me see if I have a little stir stick here. Oh, I'll just use the paintbrushes. Okay, so I, as you saw, I just kind of put in a little bit of water here. I just want to water these down just a hair. When I first did this the first time, I really did them um, too much. I watered them down just a little bit too much. So I'm gonna try not to do that this time. I'm gonna keep my paint brushes because I'm gonna show you something else here in just a moment with that um, second technique I was talking about. Another way to do this. It's not qu quite as messy, still a little messy, but not quite as messy. Okay, so I've got those all mixed up. All right, so you wanna make sure that you're using a piece of string um, that is long enough um, to be able to create loops and things on your page, okay? So it's kind of just easier for you to watch rather than me to talk you through it. It's just pretty amazing. So I'm gonna wrap this string around my fingers. You kind of see it like that. And this is, I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in my most uh, vibrant color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the blue here. And I just wanna show you what I'm doing. Kind of messy, but that's okay. Messy stuff is always fun. We've got baby wipes, paper towels to kind of clean up the mess. Okay, so you can see I'm kind of dipping it in here and notice, do you still see how you still see some of the, the white part of the string? That's totally okay. That doesn't bother me at all. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of take off some of this paint. So I'm taking the string kind of back through my fingers, almost like I'm kind of wringing it out. Oops, I just got a blob on my page, but that's okay. All right, did you see all that paint that kind of came out here at the bottom? Okay, so now I've got it kind of wrung out. Um, at any point in time, if you want to kind of clean your fingers up, you can, but there's not much point in doing too much of that because we're going to have to hold on to the string anyway. Okay, so here comes the fun part. I'm going to scoot these paints out of the way a little bit. 
bring my Bible back down here. Just want to make sure that you can see okay in the camera. All right. So now I'm going to just start laying out my string. And sometimes I just kind of let it, sometimes it kind of has a mind of its own. It's just going to do whatever it's going to do. Okay. All right, so see there? So I've got it all down here. Now there's one more thing that I would suggest you doing, especially those of you that are Bible journalers. Um, if you are a Bible journaler and you have a messy mat that you want to put there, that you have to put down under the page, um, I'm just going to use a piece of copy paper. I'm just going to kind of slide it right under here, okay? And really, that's not really doing anything to protect your the pages beneath it. It's okay to do it without gessoing your page. I didn't prep my page at all. But as you pull the strings, sometimes the paint can kind of pull off here at the bottom. So it's just a good idea to have something underneath you. Okay, next step. I'm going to take some uh, pieces of wax paper. got some here from the other night. And this is kind of cheap wax paper. I just get it at the dollar store. So I have a couple of pieces here I'm going to lay down. And I'm making sure the waxy side is down on top of the string. And now I'm just going to close my Bible. I'm going to give it just kind of a gentle press. Okay. Just a gentle press. And then if you'll notice here, hopefully you can kind of see this. Do you see down here underneath um, the wax paper? You have to leave a portion of the string out because you've got to be able to pull it. So if you accidentally put it all in there, it's gonna be hard to pull it out. So make sure you leave a little bit. You don't have to leave quite this much. This is just what I happen to have, have out. So now comes the fun part. I'm just gonna simply just kind of put gentle pressure right here. Not a lot of pressure, just kind of holding it in place. And I'm going to pull, and pull, and pull. Yay, I can't wait to see how it's gonna turn out. Are you excited? Oh man, I'm so excited to see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my page. Look at that, look at that, can you see it? Okay, let me take this layer off of wax paper. And now let me take this layer off. Look at that, isn't that cool? It's so pretty, and look how pretty it is even on the wax paper. So you might actually wanna keep your wax paper and do something with that too, because that's just lovely. I love the way it imprinted. Okay, so I'm gonna do this in um, three different layers. Um, this is gonna be my first layer. I'm gonna go ahead and dry it just, just a tad. Okay, and now I'm gonna move on and do another layer, okay? This time I'm gonna use the copper paint. Let's see if I have another string here. Now the copper's kinda cool because it is actually a metallic, so it's always fun to kinda see um, what the different looks of paints, the different shimmers, Gosh, I mean, I guess you could do this with all kinds of paints. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip this one in. And again, the reason I have some kind of blank spots kind of in there is because I didn't saturate, you don't have to saturate the whole entire string. In fact, that's probably one thing I would tell you because when I first started doing this, I was using a little too much paint. And it does take a little practice trying to figure out exactly, you know, how much paint I should use. So I'm just kind of wringing it through. All right, now let's lay this one down. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do this this time. Now make sure, because you're closing your, your Bible or your book, you wanna make sure that you're um, putting down fresh wax paper each time because you don't wanna accidentally, you know, um, press it off onto the other page. All right, I'm gonna close it up. Again, just some gentle pressure, okay? And now, I'm going to pull the string. Here we go. Okay. 
can't wait to see this with the metallic. I tried to choose colors that would show up really well. Ooh, I can already tell I'm gonna like it. And take both those off. Look how pretty that is. The thing that's kind of cool about the copper is it's a little bit more, the metallics, they're a little bit more translucent. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that okay. All right, and typically they dry really super fast, so I don't even need to use my heat gun for this one. Okay, next up, and again, if I was doing this on something else, on maybe some uh, mixed media paper, um, an art journal, something other than a Bible, I could actually, whoops, I better make that long because I gotta be able to pull the string out, right? Go ahead and add a, another little piece of string for this one. Um, if I was using it in anything else other than a Bible page, I could actually go thicker with the paint and get even more uh, more of a cool image, okay? But I just want to be kind of careful because, again, on a Bible page, you know, it's kind of, um, kind of thin. It's those onion skin pages, and I just don't want to overload it with too much paint, okay? So... I'm gonna wring this one out just a little bit. I'm gonna use multiple pieces of string on this one. Just, just cause. Okay. I'm grab another piece of wax paper here. Now, in a, real, in a perfect world, you'd be kind of cleaning your hands in between, and of course, I'm not doing that because I don't mind being messy. Give it just a little bit more of a press. Okay, I'm gonna lift up here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two strings at the same time. See what I got. Oh, I love it. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so totally love that. So let's say you um, wanted to get more of that bright blue. If you wanted to do more, you just kind of dry it in between. If I ever get any real big blobs of, of paint, I'll just go in and kind of um, dab it with a paper towel. But I think that's lovely. I really love how that worked out. Okay, so you kind of get the gist of how this works. Now I want to show you something else. And you can kind of see the difference depending on what colors of paint you use. You know, you see a big difference. Um, here on um, just how it's gonna look. I still use that same vibrant blue on this one and the teal, but I used a metallic. I'm gonna kind of move it in the light, see if you can see it better. I used a, a light blue metallic on that one. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way and we're gonna do another type of technique, okay? Doing the same thing with the string art. So this time I'm just gonna work on a hymnal page. And um, like I said, you can use uh, pretty much anything you want to use. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this wax paper down right here. Okay, I'm gonna cut myself off some more string. This time we're gonna actually put multiple colors on one string, okay? So I'm gonna lay my string out here. And remember my paintbrushes? I told you I was gonna keep them handy over here. Well, this is, this is why. I'm going to go in and paint my string. And I could be pulling up more paint if I was using like a foam brush, but this will work. This might appeal to more of you 
um, cause it's not quite as messy on your fingers, even though you're still gonna have to, you're still gonna have to hold it. So I'm gonna come down here kind of in different areas of my string and paint this blue. Make sure you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I have to get some more paint. Maybe one other stretch here. So you do have the option of actually painting your string out first, and then I'm gonna mist it with some water, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this pretty copper just because I really wanna make sure that it shows up well for you. Okay, so let's put some copper here as well. Again, just regular acrylic paint. Just safe to using your Bible. And then let's do something just for grins. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this really vibrant purple in here. And grab another brush. Here we go. Such a fun use of color, because you just, it's so exciting, because you just never know what you're gonna get. For some of you, I know that can be kind of nerve wracking, but for me, it's kind of exciting. You could always practice on, you know, just extra paper or something, just to, that's why these hymnal pages are great. Or if you have an art journal, just kind of, just practice, just kind of play around with different color combinations. See what you like. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more of this purple right down here, and then I think that that's enough string. Okay, so now I've got this lovely little mess of stuff going on right here. I'm gonna take my handy spritzer. And I'm gonna spray the string. Okay, so just to make sure, I wanna make sure it's all nice and wet. Now I'm doing this because my hands are already dirty, but it feels pretty good and wet to me. Okay, so I'm gonna do this on the hymnal page here. I wanna make sure I have, that you can see this okay. All right, here we go. I kind of like it when it's kind of looped at the top. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go back to my paper and just slide this underneath. I've already, I've taken this hymnal page out of the book. I might use it as a tip in or something. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my wax paper again. Use this one. Turn this one kind of inside itself. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, again, I'm gonna give it just some gentle pressure. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, let me get this mess out of the way. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm ready to pull. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I've never used this color combo before, so, whoops. And that's why you have to kind of have some pressure 
on your book so you don't just pull everything out. There we go. Oh, look at that! Oh, I love the wax paper too. Look how cool that looks. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like it. I kind of like using all the colors on there like that. That looks really neat. And because the the um, because you misted the string, it kind of pulls the colors. Do you see almost like a watercolor kind of pulls the colors down through each other? Isn't that neat? I think that's just so cool. All right, so I'm excited to see what you're going to do because I want you to play around with this. It's just it's just so much fun, girls. It's so, so, so much fun. Um, I've even been toying around. Um, in fact, um, um, I was going to play around with some other um, colors and some other uh, types of paints and just see what all we could get. I think this would be really cool to even try. I thought I might try it with my chalk paints on a uh, canvas and see what I get. So I want you to definitely give it a try. It's super fun. And make sure then post them here. I want to see your results. I want to see how your beautiful one-of-a-kind string art creations turn out. So let me go back to this one real quick and show you that then once they are totally dry, you wanna make sure they're totally dry, you can journal, you can journal on them, you can do um, whatever you would like. Isn't that pretty? You can go back and add more. And just think of the different kinds of things that you could do. You could even do a cross. You could come down and then go across and try to create kind of an abstract cross. I think there's lots of different things that you could do. And this so reminds me, we were talking about this last night, this so reminds me of like the, the um, coral reef, you know, from the ocean floor. Um, or if you used all different shades of blue, it could almost look like a, like a splash. Or maybe you use bright reds and oranges and, and different colors. It would look almost like fire. So, um, and then we did also last night, I posted a couple pictures, but um, some of the girls that used some of the more pinky colors, Oh my goodness, they look so pretty. They kind of remind me, the shape reminds me of like a calla lily. So beautiful, um, some beautiful string out that look, string art that looks really a lot like florals. So just so pretty. So I want you to give it a try, okay? All right, thanks for joining me today. Have fun making your string art. Keep creating, girls. Bye.